Well, I think uh, obviously New Zealand played well. We were below par, and the <clears throat> combination of those two things didn't really m end up very well for us. Um, I think we just lost the battle. We lost the physicality, pure and simple. You know, you got to own it. In the first game, we owned the physicality, and in the second game, we lost it. And and with the conditions as well, uh, that that becomes even more important. And the game got away from us. You know, and we we try to get back in it early in the second half, like just to hedge our way back. But <clears throat> even when we got down on their line, couldn't just just run hard and get over that line to get a try on the board, you know, and then try to claw, claw our way back into the score. So you lose the physicality in this scenario and you lose the game. Is that what you've been pointed on or just the intensity? Oh, <clears throat> no, obviously they bring intensity, but I mean, it's a, it's a two-sided equation. We can bring that back as well and we didn't bring it back enough. So when you don't bring it back enough, that, that's what happens to you, you know what I mean? And it's, it, uh, it, it, was, it was not like it, would, it was a surprise, you know, so... Uh, we just didn't come with that physical, especially around the rucks in the in the, the middle, and uh, we lost the battle in the middle, and therefore we lost the game. And did you try to play too much rugby in the middle? Yes, the you should become a coach, mate. We did definitely. <laughs> but I don't know. We, we <clears throat> I have to take some responsibility there because I've got to prep the guys a little Pretty better for wet weather, progress. and it's the first time I played in the wet weather. But you know, even with that, <clears throat> we still need to to front up with the physicality in the middle of the field, <clears throat> which could have set the platform or, or you know, engage the, the battle. And when, at these levels, you go down 10 or 15 and they go up, well, they probably went up 15 or 20, then <clears throat> you'll pay the penalty. And we did. Is there any emotional, mental laps um, after the last week's history making? Look, mate, I think that you never know because you can't gauge that. There's no measure for it per se. Now. Um, it depends, you know, on the how much you, you, you can never tell what they're still paying attention to, and you know, when it comes to that, if the edge is off just a little bit, then it can hurt you. And at the end of the day, how you how you prepare will be how you play more often than not. And um, you know, the the edge was definitely off us, and by losing that battle, um, we ended up. Just going back to a couple of old habits, but we'll, we'll clean those up. You know, we're, we're, that's not that's not us, and uh, it'll be a good lesson. Not not a not a lesson from them, more about a lesson from ourselves. You know what I mean? Uh, even though they play very well, and you know, full credit to them, the the lessons for ourselves and how to deal with a couple of good wins in a row. So we started off with a win, a loss, a win, a loss, and we're saying, come on, we've got to start putting two wins in a row together. So you know. Um, yeah, maybe I should have said let's put three wins in a row together, you know, because you just got to deal with what's coming next, you know, and that's a good... On our voyage, our journey towards the World Cup, that's going to be a day. Today will be one of the days that we'll get the most out of because we'll learn the lesson very clearly that you've got to be up to the physical level for the battle. It's not just you guys with the inconsistency they have set up with the All Blacks too. Is there anything in international footy at the moment you can see? Have a look at it, and just on that, like the breakdown interpretations this week to last week. Yeah, they were very something? different. They were very different. Yeah. yeah. So, but the <clears throat> regardless of what I thought about the breakdown interpretations, our performance in that part of the game, which I just explained, wasn't up to par because you can resist, you can resist those things that go against you at the, you know, in the ruck when you when you're up to par, and we got to own that like we owned the game the week before and then take it forward into the next game and bring a much better performance when we will. Michael, it appears a little broken at the moment that the margin in terms of difference in performance is smaller than the teams. Yet if you are just marginally off, the punishment almost seems a bit greater. Is that what I'm saying there? Uh, look. Put that down to in no, look, you know, some, sometimes it goes like that, the swings. Uh, we... we we gave, I think we would have had probably even less ball than we had in the first game, you know. We just couldn't, really couldn't take a trick from the first um, kickoff, you know, where we, we threw a pass, we knocked it on straight away, you know, and we gave them that momentum. And um, you've got to, when the momentum's against you, you've got to rest that back. How do you rest it back? You rest it back by putting um, 
several good actions together that then gets you into momentum. That's how it is. And we weren't able to put on those. Even when we had that, that like a moment down in the, when we were, I think it was 15, 20 minutes, in the second half, we, we sort of were strong. Um, uh, just run through the goal line, run over the goal line, you know, and get in the end goal and, and start scratching your way back. And just the, the edge was off us. We have to exactly know, you know, every player and every coach and everyone will be in there trying to work on, you know, how we can make that better. We want to make sure we take all the, the good things that have happened over the last three or four weeks across the series against Australia and New Zealand in the rugby championship so far and take the good bits that we've got along with the, the, the things we really need to improve from tonight into the South Africa game in Buenos Aires in a couple of weeks. Sorry. Sorry, last question here, and then we continue with. How much sound the two weeks um, in, in New Zealand? Uh, on a whole? Yeah, mate, you know, rugby's that thing where you're only as good as your last game, and then you're only as good as your next game. So uh, there's no summaries, you know, because it's not an average. If you want to be average, well, you'll take an average, you know. But if you want to be try and be the best, you've got to be the best the next time you run out there. Tonight, obviously, we weren't. And, um, and we've got an opportunity then against the world champs in a couple of weeks. And uh, we've got to make sure that we're in the right mindset and the, the, to, to take, like I said, the good things from, that we have done over the last few weeks, make sure we bring them to that one. Because that's the key, keep taking those good things. Try not to average it out, because that's where you'll end up being average.